So hi, I am Dr. Nikhil Mathur. I'm the clinical director for emergency medicine for K group of hospitals. So what do you mean by department of emergency medicine? One. Second, what do you do in the department? How do you do it? And what is the outcome of what do you do it? So these are simple questions we need to answer for everybody to understand. So emergency department is a department in the hospital where some, somebody has some issues of health, whether it is a chest pain, whether it's a stroke symptoms, whether it is an accident, if there's poisoning, some there's high grade fever, and you know you have to approach somewhere you go to the emergency department. You know, don't know the diagnosis, you're suffering. It could be a life-threatening sudden unconsciousness. Go to the department of emergency. Now, what do you do there? When we go to the department of emergency, there's a doctor or nurse who always are there to triage the patient. So first, what happens is triage. If you're a priority one or priority two, you're immediately taken to a bed and you know the resuscitation starts from the start. So what's happening here? You're not wasting the precious time. So what are the common things what you see in, in an emergency department? One, it could be some, it could be, you know, suddenly somebody is walking and becomes unconscious. You don't know, you panic. So take them, there are protocols, processes which are set to treat such patients. It could be something like a start of weakness of one side of the body. Suddenly somebody is slurring for speech, not able to speak properly. Then what do you do it? So please take them to a facility where you know the department of emergency medicine exists so that the time is not wasted apart from this we take care of many emergencies i'm just naming a few it could be a stroke brain stroke it could be a polytrauma that is road traffic accidents or any falls it could be poisoning it could be snake bite it could be anything which you know hampers your life and you know that you need to be treated and you don't know which speciality to go in go to the ed get yourself treated don't neglect your symptoms and then see what happens how do we do it Generally, in well-formed emergency departments, we have something called clinical pathways, and they are manned by trained emergency doctors. So what happens when you do? So for example, I go to, uh, with a chest pain, they are, or I go with something called stroke, or it could be fever. What happens? For each symptom, what you're going with can have 10 or 12 diagnoses. What happens in the ED? Without wasting time, your diagnosis is made and the treatment is given for the diagnosis. For example, when I take stroke, time is very important when I'm talking about brain stroke. So if you have a sudden onset of weakness of right or right side of the body, I'm not suddenly I'm not able to speak or talk, and you reach the department, a CT scan or MRI is performed, whatever is according to the guidelines of the individual hospital. And if it's an ischemic stroke, the drug to treat it, that's called as a thrombolytic drug, has to be given within four and a half years, hours of the onset of the symptom to get the best result out of it. So every minute counts there. So when I say this, I also mean that you should always choose a good ED with backing of a good multi-speciality hospital. So what I mean by that? So somebody has a, a you know, road traffic accident, is bleeding profusely, and you take to a nursing home, a smaller hospital, what I would say. So you need, a, when it comes to a polytrauma case, you need a team of doctors. It could be a neurosurgeon, it could be a plastic surgeon, orthopedic surgeon, a general surgical gastroenterologist, neurology and also. It has to have a team-based approach. And I know I'm bleeding well. Yes, the rest of my bleeding is very important. But at the same time, if I don't have a blood bank to replace the blood, you know, the, you lose life at those places. So it's very important to choose a right emergency department of a good multi-speciality hospital where a team is there's a team-based approach you've got all the facilities and then you take it up from there another example i could give you is a brain stroke if i go to a hospital where ct scan or mri is not available when i have a symptoms of brain stroke and then what happens i go to a smaller hospital they might diagnose yes it's a stroke but how do we handle that stroke i cannot decide the management till i have the imaging done on of my head whether it's ct or in form of ct or mri so very important to choose the department which is backed by a multi-speciality hospital and at least you have trained doctors who can diagnose and start the treatment as early as possible so my thing if you have anything which you don't know what's the problem is somebody gets unconscious somebody has sudden weakness it could be high grade fever with chills tigers don't waste time in life don't neglect your symptoms and all always show it to a doctor get yourself evaluated if it's not a life threatening uh, uh, thing they'll guide you to what next to be done and then you can take it up front because in 
in an emergency time matters. Act fast, as fast as you can, so the results and outcome of the patients are perfect. So, thank you.